guys, I'm so excited to have another video up for you today. It's December and it's Christmas time and we've got a bunch of Christmas recipes to show you this December. I've got Kai back behind the camera and today I'm gonna to show you how to make my family's Christmas Eve dinner. We're gonna do standing beef rib roast and it's got this pink peppercorn gorgonzola sauce. It's so good, it's so easy and I'm gonna show you how to make it. So let's get started. So to start, we're gonna simply season the beef with salt and pepper. And now we're just gonna sear the beef on the stove. Okay, so my beef is looking really good and I've seared on all sides. So now we're just gonna take it off the stove and we're gonna crust it in sage. Okay, so I've got my beef all seared. It looks really beautiful and nice. And now all I have to do to it is I'm going to tie some sage onto the beef. And the sage just really is gonna flavor the beef and it gets all crispy in the oven. So it's almost like fried sage. And I really, really love it. It's a simple, subtle flavor. Even my brothers will eat it. So. We're just gonna use some kitchen twine. I don't actually think this is kitchen twine, but it's gonna work for my purposes. And I'm just going to tie the sage onto the rib roast. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my rib roast all secured here with some kitchen twine and some fresh sage and it's good to go. We're ready to kind of throw it in the oven. I'm just gonna get a roasting pan and we're gonna add some onions to that and some red wine to keep this beef moist and then we're just gonna throw it in the oven. I have some onions and some garlic down in my pan and I also poured a whole bunch of wine in there to keep that beef moist and give it some really great flavor. Um, it's ready for the oven now. We're going to put it in at 450 degrees for like 20-25 minutes and then we're going to reduce the oven temperature to 350 and we're going to cook it another hour and 45 minutes to two hours. It just depends on how you like your beef. My family likes it medium rare so um, I'm probably going to go like an hour and 45 minutes. I also like to cover the beef with some foil to keep the sage from burning because it burns really easy if it's kind of in contact with like the direct heat of the oven. So I'm just gonna cover it with foil and I'm gonna throw it in the oven and we'll check on it in a little bit. I have my beef roasting in the oven um, and while it's roasting, I'm gonna make some salt roasted beets. You can put whatever you want with this beef, but um, I am really into beets right now and my cousins really like beets. So this uh, Christmas Eve, I think I'm gonna do these salt roasted beets. And they're really easy to make. You just need a whole bunch of kosher salt and basically you just dump the kosher salt into like a roasting pan. I'm just using a big skillet um, because, I don't know, that's what I'm using. But any kind of roasting pan or a baking sheet with side works really well too. And you just sort of add a whole bunch of salt to the bottom of the pan. And then ideally you'd like to have your beets be pretty uniform in size. Like this is a nice size, I think. Um, unfortunately my yellow beets, like I have two really big ones. but. Um, whatever, you know, you can do whatever. You can do all red beets too, whatever you guys like. And then you just cut them off and you wanna make sure they're pretty dry too. And you just add them right into the skillet or whatever you're using with the salt and you kind of nestle them down in there. And you like that and you, and then you can roast these at the, and then I just also add a little bit more salt. You can roast these at the same time you're roasting the beef if you have room in your oven. If you just roast them at 350 for like 50 minutes or so um, until they're tender and they're really good and then when you get them out you kind of remove some of the salt and then you drizzle them with olive oil and maybe add a little pepper if you want and you slice them up. They're really good and they keep them moist and tender and yeah so I'm just going to throw them in the oven with my beef at 350 degrees for about 50 minutes. Okay, so I just got my beef out of the oven and it looks perfect. Um, you can see the sage sort of moves around a bit and some of it gets like a weird color and some of it doesn't, but 
it still tastes great, so um, don't worry about whatever your sage looks like. It'll be great and delicious. But what's really important about when you do a, a, any kind of beef really is you really need to let it rest before you cut into it. So I'm gonna let this sit here on the counter for about 10, 10 to 15 to maybe even 20 minutes and I'm gonna go make my uh, pink peppercorn gorgonzola cheese sauce. So I'm gonna head on over to the stove. So to start, we're gonna add, um, we're gonna we're gonna do this with some butter, uh, just a little bit of olive oil, some blue cheese or gorgonzola. You wanna get a nice quality cheese with a lot of um, you know blues and everything in there, really good. Some pink peppercorns. If you can't find pink peppercorns, I just ordered mine on Amazon. Um, you can use black peppercorns, whatever. The pink peppercorns are just kind of festive, so I really like it. Um, about a cup of wine and a cup of heavy cream and some garlic. And we're just gonna put it all in here and we're gonna let it simmer and it's gonna be delicious. All right, so I have my sauce, I have my beef, and I have my beets over here. I just added some fresh thyme to those for a little bit of color. And it's just time to slice into this, and it's the moment of truth, right? So we're gonna um, take it, oh, and also down in the bottom of the pan, you know, there's all those drippings and things, and the red wine and the onions. You can pour those over your beef as well, so. All right, you guys, so there's my there's my meal. It looks perfect. The beef is cooked just the way my family likes it. They like it pretty pink inside. If you guys like it a little more done, just cook it longer. Um, it's such an easy meal. It's so good. I mean, like, this is Christmas Eve dinner for my family, um, and I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys give it a try. It's so easy. It's a crowd pleaser, and like I said, it's really pretty. I mean, just look at the color of these beets. You just, you mean, you can't beat that. So that's it. I mean, it's a, a great prime rib roast and it's perfect for the holidays and entertaining and everybody loves it. So I hope you guys enjoy it and thanks for watching.